Hello, Magical Butterfly. Welcome to the Awaken the Divine Feminine reading. This is going to be a weekly reading I will be having on my YouTube channel. In this week's reading, I will tap into the energy surrounding the Divine Feminine to see what messages want to come through. So just take only what speaks directly to your soul and release what doesn't. Just remember, Divine Feminine is an energy, and I channel the Divine Feminine energy as she or her, but a Divine Feminine can be any gender, so just take it as it applies to you, because everyone has feminine and masculine energy. This week's energy is about the journey. So we are going to see what the journey is for the Divine Feminine right now, and what spirit has for her as far as messages. So let's see what the journey is signifying for the Divine Feminine. So what is the journey signifying for the Divine Feminine? Okay, this journey is helping the Divine Feminine work with her shadow side, her ego side, helping her shift and transform out of ego. And the way the Divine Feminine is being asked how she can release this energy is to answer the question, how teachable is she? So how teachable you are, how open you are to learning is going to determine how easily or how difficult you are going to shift out of pride and ego. Because part of awakening your inner divine feminine is to release ego-based energy, which is fear, doubt, overthinking, second-guessing, any negative emotion, thought process, behavior, or pattern. So how teachable are you is what this journey is teaching you and what the energy is for this week. You have a soulmate, could be a twin flame, could be just a divine love counterpart, regardless of the label you resonate with or you don't when it comes to love, you are being guided to really dive deep and get uncomfortable. Even if you have been in a spiritual awakening and have been working on healing yourself for a long time, spirit is telling you the learning, the lessons are never done. And the healing is never done. It's just different layers. It's different stages. So this card is 14, which equals a five. So there is a change that wants to happen when it comes to your love counterpart, but it's a matter of how open you are to seeing how if you completely free yourself of the ego, when it comes to your person, how things will change. The connection you have with your person is helping you see how victim consciousness, which is being in fear, being in a state of not believing it's possible, harping on the past, allowing your fears to get the best of you, especially if you don't have any communication and are in complete separation from your person where you're not really knowing what they are doing, even if you're seeing them post on social media, unless you're physically in their life and talking to them, you really just don't know because I feel for a lot of you, your person doesn't really put it out there on social media and I feel you don't either. So there's a sense of knowing, but really not knowing what's going on. That's why when it comes to a divine love counterpart that you have a deep soul connection with connecting to the energy and going within 
and not allowing the ego to lead, but allowing your intuition to lead, is going to help you reconnect with the heart chakra and to help you connect with self-love. When you can connect with self-love, when you can connect with your inner knowing, what you know to be true, without any rhyme or reason or any physical proof, this is when you are able to say what you mean and mean what you say. So it's like that song, do what you say, say what you mean, one thing leads to another. One thing will lead to another when it comes to your divine love counterpart, but it's really about being able to say what you mean and being able to back it up with action. So that's where the ego having to be completely deflated because you could be thinking about doing things, but until you take the action steps, nothing is going to change. And what you're thinking about doing isn't actually going to be done except in your mind. So this is where you connect to your family and your soul tribe. Connecting to your family and your soul tribe is really going to help bring a better understanding to you and it's going to help you divine feminine get into the energy of phoenix rising when you can rise like the phoenix when you can rise from the ashes when you can overcome the obstacles and embrace the healing and embrace this new chapter by really taking a new stance a different mindset having a new perspective I'm seeing the hanged man tarot card in my third eye when you're able to do that you will really see how your journey not only signifies change for you but it does affect your connection with your divine masculine so let's see how this is affecting your connection with your divine masculine so we're going to do a quick little energy check-in on just how this energy is affecting your connection with your divine masculine right now in the present moment whenever you're watching this because this is intended to be timeless so this will show up for people when it's supposed to whether it's when i post it a week from now three months from now three years from now how is this affecting your connection divine feminine with your divine masculine it's reminding you of imprint my soul has chosen you for this important lesson for healing and ascension purposes i thank you for our time together so honoring the connection that you have with your masculine regardless of the status that the two of you are in whether you're in each other's lives or you're not you two have imprinted on each other in this lifetime because this is what you have done in the lifetimes before the souls instantly recognize one another the hearts will never forget because there has been a deep love for many different lifetimes so this is a divine masculine whom you have a very deep soul connection with and a past life connection so this is also telling you that you are liberating yourself from your fears as i heal i'm setting us free so as you heal divine feminine you are setting yourself and your divine masculine free by shifting out of the energy because when you can work on yourself when you can heal and you can ascend and ascend past the pain and go to the next level staying in a higher vibration you really see how it does affect your masculine and you can feel that energetically or if you do see or hear things about him you'll see how he's changing and he's evolving as well and it's also bringing in a sense of equality with your divine masculine if someone cannot reciprocate my same efforts i do not continue to try harder i take it as a sign that we may not be on the same page at this time so if there is not an equal give and take if there is not equal reciprocation where one is just giving the other one's taking and it's not an equal give and take you have learned to pull back your energy and you will only give to this connection if your masculine shows you 
he is ready to give to you. And that is a huge milestone when you can achieve that because you understand with sunny side that you will not let the past challenges rob you of opportunities to be happy in the future. So you're not allowing the past to dictate how the rest of your life's going to go. You're starting to see divine feminine, how the past is just the past and you're ready to move on with mistaken you know that it is okay to be wrong and accept that you will make mistakes because maybe there's some regrets you have with your divine masculine it is a part of the human experience so accept these flaws with ease so you just have to remember that you chose to learn this way by the actions you took in the past but the key to a mistake is it doesn't have to be a mistake it's simply a lesson when you learn from it and flaws are a part of you and that's where you honor them and you just know going forward with your connection with your divine masculine to have unwavering faith that the universe is taking care of the details all you need to do is be present in the moment working on yourself and when i said that my timer was on 11 11 so your spiritual awakening for your journey divine feminine is happening right now so let's see how this journey is molding you divine feminine how is it molding you so how is the journey molding the divine feminine how is the journey molding the divine feminine okay it is molding by bringing in the energy of Rita of Kasha the patroness of impossible causes. I am miraculous. My prayers create powerful channels of possibility. So you're shifting your mindset. Crown chakra, third chakra activation, changing your mindset from limited to unlimited. And that's huge. It's huge because when you shift your mindset into anything is possible, Believe in miracles, believe in the unexpected, being open and receiving, surrendering, not worrying about outcomes or expectations or attachments. It's a game changer. And what that does for you with Rabia is the queen of saintly women. It gets you into your divine feminine energy because I am in service of divine love I move the way love asks me to move because you are in your light. You are in your heart space. You are listening to the light of your heart. You are letting your heart chakra be your compass, be your guiding light because it's connected to your intuition. And when you stay connected to your heart space, that is when you can really open up the door to your healing and to really mold yourself into who you want to be going forward. And with Hestia is telling you by being the goddess of your sanctuary. No matter where I am, I am home. The most sacred sanctuary is found within me. When you can go within, when you can find inner peace, when you can find the answers, when you can find everything you need by tuning into yourself and trusting your intuition and not allowing your ego to ruin anything, you understand that my soul knows the way and the only way out is through so you know it's time to move forward it's time to be the mistress of the labyrinth the mistress of your mystic your life your magic your spirituality your life your divine femininity your purpose being yourself again crown chakra third eye chakra those two chakras are the two chakras divine feminine should work with this week to connect to the journey to connect to the higher self and always have devotion for yourself and others and know by saying i am a love that doesn't leave when i commit to love my soul evolves so commit to loving the one person who is always with you and that person is you. That is unconditional love of self, self-love. Keeping that heart chakra open and balanced and receiving 
is going to help you devote to yourself. Be at one with yourself. Do things for yourself. Love yourself. Take yourself on dates. Treat yourself. Make yourself feel pretty and beautiful and loved. And this will help you shift. So how and what will shift on your journey. So I want to look into what shifts will take place on the Divine Feminine Jersey journey. Said Jersey for a reason. So you could be from New Jersey. You could be going there. Or if you like sports, you may be getting a New Jersey or one just makes you feel in your power but a definitely a sports jersey is coming through this could also uh, represent divine masculine as well perhaps you have a sports jersey of your masculine or he always wears one just take it as it resonates so let's just see what shifts that will take place on the divine feminine's journey So we have a king of wands. So we have a divine masculine who could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. But this could also just represent that he is a confident king. He is a confident divine masculine. This masculine is divine. He is in his power. He is strong. And the shift that is coming with him is the ten of wands, which is a very passionate new beginning for the two of you. This King of Wands wants to come in to make the wrongs right. This King of Wands wants to come in to show the Divine Feminine that he has changed. Not just her, but he. And the Page of Swords shows me that he is thinking and he is penning a message as we speak. He wants to send some type of message to her and he's trying to figure out the best way to do it. Swords is air energy, so air energy is connected to communication. So this is a balanced message. It could be a very small message because I do see pages as small. This could also represent this masculine is younger than the Divine Feminine that he is going to message because I do see pages as young energy as well. But the Eight of Pentacles shows me that this Divine Masculine, much like the Divine Feminine, has shifted and he has a new perspective on his queen of cups so this divine feminine to this divine masculine could be a water sign cancer scorpio pisces or cups water energy is coming through because he is ready to express his feelings and his emotions we are in cancer season right now when i'm recording this but he definitely wants to come in to change the dynamic to change how things went down because he has a love offer for her. So the Divine Masculine wants to come in with the Knight of Cups, coming in very fast, quickly, but very chivalrous and very loving. And he wants to show her that he too has evolved. And now these two can evolve to the next step together. So I'm going to pull some guidance cards. I have three decks that I'm going to use to pull guidance for Divine Feminines. So this will be guidance advice. What do Divine Feminines need to know? And perhaps you have action steps they may be guided to take. Okay. The first card we have is beauty, number 20 which equals the two. See the beauty in yourself. See the beauty in everything. See the beauty with your divine masculine and your connection. And when you see the beauty, that is when you allow and have the unexpected to come in. I feel by the upcoming new moon in Cancer that is happening on July 17th, this message could be sent 
or there could be some type of unexpected surprise. This past full moon in Capricorn that we had on July 3rd has put the Divine Feminine in her full power. She is divine, and now he is too. And now they both are putting out into the universe, thanks to this full moon energy, what they would like to come into fruition and manifest with the other. By the fall equinox, or the fall season, which is September, through December, there will be some type of harvesting. There will be some type of abundance coming through. So let's just see what type of abundance wants to come through during the fall equinox. Because we are in the summer solstice right now, and the summer solstice is where you are planting the seeds that are going to come into fruition during the fall equinox and could be also the winter solstice, which happens right after. So this abundance is telling you to take a trip. So you could have a trip planned, a vacation. This vacation is going to help you just recharge your batteries and shift your energy and create memories. So if you're going to a big city like New York City, it is really time to create memories and just be in the moment detach from everything and just enjoy being either with yourself or if you're going with other people. And when it comes to your masculine and what you're feeling, you just need to look deeper within yourself for the answers. Don't look outside of yourself because it is going to be confusing and you're not going to get the answers that you need. And just find your rhythm to just be able to do all the things that you would like to do in your life because you have to remember that you are wiser now and you are not who you used to be because you already know you already know this you already know what's going to happen with your divine masculine because you're blooming you're blossoming and there is a new possibility getting ready to manifest but you just have to move forward and by moving forward you shift the pendulum to move forward as well as shifting your car, your feet, however you are maneuvering on your journey in to drive, in to walk, into it's safe for you to go. Think of it like the Fool energy. The Fool in Tarot card is about taking a leap of faith. That is what this message is telling you. And by moving forward, you will not have to worry because there is no need to worry about this. The universe has got you. The universe has this all figured out. They're letting you know with this past full moon energy to help further awaken the divine feminine and reconnect to herself. Where there is light, there must also be light. I'm sorry, where there is dark, there must also be light. But when there's light, there has to be dark. It is on its way, so things are going to come out of the shadows. And it's going to involve passion with your Divine Masculine. So do not be scared to let passion flow into your life at this time. So especially if you are separated from your Divine Masculine, don't allow your fear to get in the way. Because Spirit's telling you to hold tight. That... There may have been a storm coming, or maybe the clouds are clearing now, but you don't have to worry. The energy is shifting. And this connection, your masculine, you, you're protected because your light is going to get brighter. So just protect it. It is yours. Protect your connection and protect yourself and send protection and love to your divine masculine. So I want to channel messages on what the Divine Feminine's higher self would like to say to her. So what would the Divine Feminine's higher self want her to know? What does the Divine Feminine's higher self want her to know? It's time to be unapologetically yourself. 
it's time to create a to-do list. It's time to make a list of all the things you want to accomplish, either in your life or every day. It's time to write it all down. It is time to embrace that your heart has been healed and this emotional intimacy can be reactivated and renewed in your life. You have found your worth. You are now worthy. You are now deserving. And do not worry about the missed opportunity because this missed opportunity was for your highest and greatest good. You had to separate for you to fly high and to fly free and to travel and to find yourself, and he did too. But now, as you both work on yourselves, communication is coming. He is strategizing how he can be exclusive. So don't worry, Divine Mass, Divine Feminine. Physical intimacy is something he wants very much, but you just have to know by tuning in, you already know that he misses you just as much as you miss him. So I'm going to pull cards to get a final message from Spirit for the final messages for this week's Awaken the Divine Feminine reading. So if you would like to awaken your Divine Feminine, I do offer a one-on-one -on -one coaching session. It's either 30 minutes or one hour. You can book any of my personal readings or healing sessions to work on your Divine Feminine or if you like to do group coaching on your own time, I do offer a, a weekend Your Divine Feminine group coaching membership. It is a monthly membership. This group coaching will be a total of 11 modules and once you finish the 11 modules, you will get a certificate of completion and graduating to Awakening Your Divine Feminine. So if you're interested in working with me, either one-on-one -on -one or in the group setting, go to the description box. All of my information is there. So what are the final messages, please? They're telling me to pull four cards. So the first card is this beautiful card. And as I suspected, it is the Heart Chakra card. So the Heart Chakra is telling you unfurling back to love. This chakra card represents love in its many, for many forms. It reminds you that everything in life can unfold into love or fear. When unfurled back enough, the foundation of all you seek lies in the universal desire and right to feel love and be loved. Love heals. God is love. This is the force that will change the world. Have compassion, expand your awareness, and heart-centered radiance for all beings on the planet encapsulate earth in a loving compassion bask in the blissful feeling the, of the planet in all of its perfect balance loving you back and that helps you connect to your third eye chakra by having a penal perspective to connect with your third eye and transcend what you understand with your mind that is where they tell you to go within Discover a deep inner knowing through the interconnected web of all this and has been. You can tune into this wisdom at will as and when you wish to. This wisdom is ancient yet pioneering. It is the creator of the free will we choose to weave from moment to moment. Be the observant witness. Allow the transcendence of duality without judgment. Be mindful, listen, and allow your unfurling intuition to unravel the paradoxes of reality. And what that does for you is it helps you connect to your third eye through the starseed elemental energy that is telling you sometimes adulting can become too serious. When this happens, adding curiosity, fun, and laughter and a lighthearted sense of play to our perspective can be the most effective way to rebalance. Facing challenges, circumstances with inquisitiveness can bring joy to whatever we are accomplishing. Imagine stepping into a child's shoes and seeing how they perceive the world. If you have a problem, consider how a child might solve it. Humans are evolving and children can be our wisest teachers. May we nourish their big souls, listen to them with our hearts, and let their ways unveil fresh new eyes so we may see a whole new world. Connect to your inner child. 
and with Mount Shasta. Aware Lemuria would be destroyed, its people traveled to the other parts of the globe. Mount Shasta was one place they journeyed. There are tales of unusual phenomena and multidimensional beings living inside the mountain. This card is about origins, and the image is the seed crystal this deck is based around. Honor and look more deeply into your ancestry, both your bloodline and your etheric lineage. Do you have an affinity with any star beings? Connecting with them might allow you greater insight into your traits, your strengths, and your challenges. The sacred places you feel attracted to may have had an intuitive message for you. So this is where you connect to your past lives to see why certain eras and time frames just speak to you. And when you connect to your inner child, you bring about that playful energy and you remember who you are and why you came here. I do hope this week's Awaken the Divine Feminine reading has brought you some type of clarity and guidance, answers, confirmation, or just made you feel good. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Have a beautiful rest of your week, and I will talk to you soon. Love and light to you.